Okay, YouTube friends and foes out there and everybody out in the, in the realm. So, finally got myself together. Decided that I'm going to go ahead and make some videos. And I wanted to show you guys what I, my past and what I'm going to with my future. Um, here's my Evo power board. It was really customized. It was great. I still love it. Um, I tend to rebuild it. Took a crash and spilled on it. So, you know, it's, it's going to be in the garage for a while. I want to show you some of the other upgrades I did. And that's going to be these Avid brakes. As you guys can see, this is a really good uh, setup. I mean, like a fully adjustable, you know what I mean? It was, it, it, when I say stopping power, I mean, I mean, crazy stopping power. Crazy, crazy stopping power with those brakes. I enjoyed them a lot. They didn't save my ass for this crash, but they would have if I, if I saw the stuff when it first happened. But anyway, back to this video. So I was running a little um, pocket bike size tires, as you can see, which was excellent, dude. These are increased in grip. I suggest everybody gets those. I'm gonna always, I'm gonna go make a video and show you guys how I got this gas tank on and how I ran the lines, as you can see under there. Brought them back out on this side, just to give you guys uh, a simple way of instructions on how to do this. Nobody helped me, and that's what sucks. So I'm gonna make videos to show everybody else. Um, that's my intentions here. I've always done that. It's just to get us all prepared. I love the Evo, dude. And it's nice to share with you guys, especially those that out there that have them, because they're, they're, we're, we're few far in between, you know? Everybody has a goat pit. So, it is what it is. But I still love mine to my GP460. So, that's what it is. Oh, also, upgrades again. I have some lizard skins, handle grips. I suggest you guys get those. Dude, these make a big difference. It makes the scooter so much lighter when you can really grab the bar. I did put a new shifter. Reason that my shifter's on this side and that side is one time I hurt myself and so I couldn't shift with this left hand. So I switched the throttle to this side and put the shifter on this side. It never changed it back. I kind of liked it that way. Everybody thought it was odd, but it worked out for me perfectly. Now that's that's the Evo. It needs some it needs some love and care. But she'll be back to go. She'll be back to going real quick. Um Here's my update on this one. This is a GoPaid GSR 40 frame with a Blada pocket bike replica engine on it. Um, it's about 8 horsepower stock. Um, it reaches 5.5 horsepower at 10,000 RPM. It revs up to 15,000 RPM and more. It depends how you have it set up. Um, it's not running the original Big Bell housing carburetors that they run. It's actually running an uh, HDA um, 48 carb with uh, a special little plastic piece here, if you can see, so it can be modded out on the intake. So that's a pretty awesome little uh, modification. Also, it has a special plate here. We used to go in here was a Zenoa 40 engine, and they would mount to the mount. So this was a custom mount here to mount the engine. That mounted to the mount to the to the scooter, which is awesome. The paint is great; it's a custom color. You know, I got it that way. Also, if you can see, it's it's water cooled, which is super badass. Um, you can never go wrong. I got a radiator. I ran it. It was so nice. Just let it just idle for a long time, and um, really and truthfully, and it, and it just it just stayed cool. The hose is here. The down hose here. Everything was just cool. It just, the engine was really just at, at its peak. And I mean, I let it idle for about 25 minutes, revving the engines. Also, there's some special things on these. These are called engine trick triggers and stuff. Um, this one's pretty rare. It's an engine trick, it's a double. What it has, it has a throttle cable, the throttle trigger, or the, the finger throttle, that's a thumb drive that you can just push on. And then it has a brake com combination with the kill switch, which is awesome, love it. And it has a hydraulic front brake. You guys see that hydraulic front brake, and I, I think that's a wonderful thing. And it's anodized, it's custom purple. I mean, with an engine tricks, um, engine tricks cable clamp, which is bomb. I mean, it, it came with a lot of great stuff. And what I'm gonna do now is just start it up for my, for you guys on YouTube and let you guys see what I'm working with. It's pretty neat, man. It's pretty neat. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. All right, ready, you guys. I mean, starts right up. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's 
so awesome, so awesome, guys. So awesome. New spark plug, NGK spark plug. So I've got a little air coming from the exhaust, but I'm gonna fix that. I'm getting a custom exhaust from Pipeline from Dean. So I'm just gonna take that down and get that done. Simple enough, but again, it's a lot of very big and it's a 40 cc but it has a high revving. So it's one of the most awesome scooters I got. Um very great purchase. Also, again, look, it's got an engine trick deck. It's kind of dirty, but engine tricks deck. Yeah, look at that. Custom paint all over, purple. I call it the Venom. If you guys know what that, you know, it's going to be the Venom from Spider Man. And my Evo, when I get her all fixed up, she's going, she's going to be, you know, a king. So basically, she's going to be black magic. Um, what I'm going to do is this deck right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it dipped in uh, copper plating, like you're doing races and stuff. And um, the rest is chassis and however, I'm gonna leave it kind of chrome. Um, but I'll be doing a little bit of things with the bars. I'm not sure what I wanna do with the color and everything, but you know, any suggestions would be great. Um, and again, you too, I just wanted to share this with you guys. You guys have a lot of questions for me and I wanna get to all of them for you guys. It's really, you know, where I'm at. I'm having fun actually helping you guys and I'm having all these people out there that are really curious about what's going on. And how to make their evos fast and i'm the guy to tell you dude I, I've, I've been i've been there the fastest i've ever gone on my scooter so far is on the evo is 56 miles an hour and i was pretty i was pretty jazzed about that because it took a little while to figure out how to get fast and once i figured it out it was pretty awesome this one's going to be a little easier to get that fast um it's a lighter frame lighter chassis and it's a real beefy motor and i hope you guys like it tell me if you even think it's a it's a cool pet i think it's really pretty um just in all, thanks guys, and um, hope you like my video, and chime in guys, Darnell out, YouTube love, one.